Well, we've had a bit of a light winter. However, when it comes down to it, colder temperatures means cold season. And that means supporting your child's immune system. And here to talk about it, healthy lifestyle expert, Dr. Kate Riom, ND. Good morning, Dr. Kate. Good morning. So, I mean, kids go back in school and obviously they're touching everything. It's like a Petri dish in these schools. And that's really, it's not the cold weather. That's really the cause of all these colds, right? That is a major part of it. Of course, kids love to share and they love to share their germs. And, you know, the good news is that the peak, there's talk of the peak of the flu season perhaps being behind us and having peaked early, but there's still lots of cold viruses to go around. Sharing is caring, but really not in this case. Sharing needs caring for, and that's what we're here to talk about today. So let's talk about boosting up your child's immune systems. Uh, and you have given me a few points here. So the first one is serve more probiotic rich foods. Uh, what consists of a probiotic rich food? So these are fermented foods, foods that have added healthy bacteria to them. Uh, so things like fermented dairy foods, yogurt, kefir, for example, old fashioned pickles, if you can find those, even kombucha, you have to check the labels on things like kombucha to make sure they don't have a lot of added sugar. But basically, about 70% of our immune system is in our gut, our gastrointestinal tract. And by adding in beneficial bacteria, uh, it's been shown that kids stay healthier throughout the winter. And if you find that they're not a fan of those really tangy fermented foods, your local health food store will also have probiotic supplements, you know, powders that can easily be added to foods. Now, your second point here, talk about not being a fan of probiotics. I mean, I think you could get by with that with the kids, but your second point is, out with the sugar, in with the fruit and vegetables. This is the age old tough sell to kids. It is a tough one. Uh, we know kids notoriously have sweet tooths. Um, but the fact is that sugar depresses immune function. It slows the activity and effectiveness of our white blood cells. And those are our major defenders against incoming viruses. So it really does make a difference to try to minimize sugar intake. You know, the amount of sugar in one can of pop can slow your white blood cells for six hours. So, you know, just offering more low sugar options, things like fruit, vegetables, you know, I've got some hummus, cottage cheese, high protein even there. And uh, just having that around and available, kids may be more likely to snack on it. I had no idea that it also suppresses your immune system. That is a great mm -hmm. little fact to toss out there. Uh, point number three is show them the door. So this is, I guess, pushing kids outside to get some activity. How does that boost their immune system though? Because mm -hmm. oh, my grandmama would say, you're going outside, you're gonna catch a cold. Uh, no, not necessarily. That's sort of in the cold myth department. And the fact is that as long as kids are uh, healthy and well dressed, they absolutely can enjoy the outdoors, even when the weather isn't perfect or ideal. We know that exercise helps bolster the immune function. And, uh, you know, getting out there to do it is really important. Now, I'm not one to say, hey, you know, kids should be taking pills, but I do remember back when I was a kid and I love my Flintstones vitamins. I don't know if they apply in this category, but you do have take a multivitamin on here. That's right. You know, we know kids are picky eaters. They go on food jags only eating or not eating certain foods. They leave like the healthy stuff on their plates. And so if you feel like they're not getting in uh, a really nutritious diet, then a kid's multiple vitamin, they're often chewy and, you know, tasty, uh, will get in those vitamins and minerals. This is as close as they're going to get to candy on the healthy side, because uh, I used to love the taste of those Flintstones vitamins, let me tell you. Uh, and finally, if there's one thing the pandemic taught us is these guys got to be clean. You've got soap up often. That's just a matter of keep those hands washed. Yes, the hand is quicker than the sneeze when it comes to transmitting bugs. And uh, it's a matter of doing it, not just doing it, but doing it for long enough. There was a great awareness around hand washing. I think that sort of trickled off. But whatever you can do to make it fun, teach kids to you know sing the alphabet or a fun song to keep them washing, because it really does keep germs off their hands, which keeps them out of the environment. Well, hopefully we can keep the kids healthy and happy in this mild winter, and hopefully the mild winter does continue on. Dr. Kate, appreciate your time today. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Take care.